Good morning, Simpson Elementary. Hope everyone's doing well. Still got my mask on. Trying to stay healthy and out of harm's way. But I'm going to take it off because I have a special treat today. <clears throat> September 15th, which is Tuesday, is International Dot Day. See that dot? Yes, it's International Dot Day. And I have a special book I want to read. It's called The Dot. <clears throat> the Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. I hope you enjoy it. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Ever feel that way before when you were trying to do some art? Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab there. Vashti doesn't look very happy to me. But I understand because sometimes your mind just goes blank. It's hard to know what to draw. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Remember what I always tell you? Write your name at the bottom of the page. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next <clears throat> week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. <clears throat> it was the little dot. She had drawn her dot, all framed in swirly gold. <clears throat> can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. What does that make? She discovered that she can make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. So in this painting, she did all the background color and left what color dot in the middle? 
Of course. A big white dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti made dots many. Quite a splash. Her own art show. From not being able to do any art to making her own art show. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said... Please sign it. And that's it. So why do we always want to put our name on our piece of art? So everyone will know who created the art. So please, I hope you're signing your art at home. Hope you have a good day.